Hello and welcome to FW Health. My name is Nishchai. I am from QS Technology, and today we are going to be discussing about this tool called FW Health and how it can be made use of. So let's just start by heading over to the web page. You can do that by accessing fwhealth.in. So as the name suggests, FW Health is a firewall health analyzer tool for checkpoint gateways and uh, it essentially studies these gateways and in this process collects logs and these logs are in turn analyzed to produce a crisp and detailed health report so you can head over to the features page to take a closer look this report covers everything from hardware utilization to um, performance analysis just the overall health status of the checkpoint device so you also have access to a sample report through here so I'm going to provide a quick overview of how this tool works we start by downloading the script from the portal these scripts are then transferred to the gateway where they collect the logs these log files are then to be uploaded back into the portal where we fill in a few details and fetch the final health report. So I'm going to be taking you through each step as I show you how to generate the reports. Let me just log back into my dashboard and if you haven't already you can always um, head over to the registration page and sign up for a free account. It'll just take a minute and once you've done that you can log in through this page. So this is what your dashboard would look like. Here you can download scripts, upload your logs and many other things. So let's just head over to the script page for our gateway. And as you can see, there are two scripts for single and multiple gateways. And in this tutorial, I've kept it very simple with a single gateway running on VMware. So I'll just go ahead and download a script for that. And for both these scripts, there's a detailed user guide uh, which has all of the steps involved in the entire process. You can go ahead and refer to them at any point. And this script is to be unzipped and transferred to our gateway. And to transfer the files, I'm going to be using Witness CP. So here's my gateway. And as you can see, the IP is 12.129. And logging into that. And once we're logged in, we transfer the script files to the gateway. And once that's done, we head back into the putty session and navigate to the folder containing our script files and in order to make these script files executable we convert them to unix format with this command and also provide executable permissions and now we are good to run the script through this command and it requires the duration for which the log capture should take place. Uh, 24 hours is a good uh, duration for thorough log capture. I'm just going to go with 5 as mine is a demo gateway. And the total number of firewall rules which you can fetch from the smart dashboard. In my case it's 4. And that's it. The script now runs in the background. And you might also wonder if there's any way to check if the script is running. And to do this we navigate to var log log script folder in here you should be able to find the file device logs.txt this is the file into which the script output is continuously written furthermore you can refer to the user guide from the portal for a list of useful commands that help in checking the script and stopping it so once the script capture is complete we can collect the logs from var log log script folder 
and as I said device logs.txt is the file we want. The remaining files are not necessary. And now that we've retrieved the logs from our gateway, we shall upload the same into the portal. Do this by returning to the home page and click on get started. Browse for your file and also note that here uh, this is a very small log file but at times the log file has a tendency to be very big in size depending upon the duration and the size of the gateway it can be many hundreds of MBs so here you have the option to compress the file into a zip archive and then upload it so that way it takes a lot less time and the whole process can be done much more faster and hit proceed and here you have the option to enter your client's details if in case you're generating a report for one of your clients so I'm just going to go ahead and enter purple synapse and my name and proceed and download and there we have it our health report so you can go ahead and take a look at it the entire health analysis report of our gateway detailed into this crisp PDF report Furthermore, another feature which comes in handy, particularly for checkpoint partners, is white labeling. Here you have the option to upload your client's logo. This will show up in the first page of your health report and it gives you the option to further customize your report to be more client specific. Once I have uploaded the logo, I can preview it through this option and as you can see here my client's logo is displayed on my report now I shall create another report this time with the client logo so going back to home page and uploading the same log file proceed and my client name synapse and my name hit download Here we have it, a new report, this time with the client logo. This makes it look much more client specific. So checkpoint partners can greatly benefit from this feature. And if ever you want to stop using this client's logo, you can return to the client logo page and simply hit discard by which the default QoS logo will be displayed in place. And with that, I conclude this video. This is FW Health for you. Please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions regarding anything. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.